Hello there, Movies Hunter here. Today I am sick, but I'm still gonna be explaining a drama film from 2013 called Lovelace. Subscribe. This film is based on the true story of a woman who was forced into the adult industry by her husband. She went on from being known as a sweet and innocent woman to one of the most famous adult stars of the era. The film opens in Florida in the year 1970, where we see a young woman named Linda hanging out with her best friend, Patsy. Linda is a 21-year-old woman who lives with her parents in Florida. Later that night, Linda and Patsy go roller skating. Patsy notices that the local band was playing very well, but since there were no dancers, Patsy and Linda volunteer to dance on stage. Their dancing attracts the attention of a man named Chuck. When Linda and Patsy leave for home, Chuck approaches them and introduces himself. He says that the two of them can earn a lot of money if they dance professionally. Patsy is intrigued by the offer, but Linda is not interested at all. One night, Linda leaves for a party. She goes to the party with Patsy and Chuck. It turns out that Linda somehow has gotten into a relationship with Chuck. After spending some time together, Chuck drops Linda home. Chuck notices that Linda is sad, so he asks her what happened. Linda then reveals that she got pregnant and had a baby last year, but her mother tricked her into signing the adoption papers, soon after which her mother put the baby up for adoption. Now Linda doesn't even know where her baby is. Chuck then decides to meet her parents and tells Linda that her parents are going to love him. So one night, Linda calls Chuck over for dinner. Chuck tells Linda's parents that he was in the army. Linda's father, who too was in the army, is impressed by Chuck. Linda's parents are so much impressed with Chuck that they allow Linda to go out with him. Chuck and Linda then go to Chuck's house. Linda is skeptical about showing her body as she has stretch marks on her abdomen because of pregnancy. But Chuck tells her that the stretch mark makes her unique and beautiful. Linda then returns home late at night, because of which she is berated by her mother. The next morning, Linda decides to move out to live with Chuck as she no longer wants to live with her parents. One night, Chuck and Linda throw a party. Patsy goes to check on Chuck who is watching an adult film. Chuck asks her if she likes it, but Patsy says no. Chuck then tries to kiss Patsy, saying that Linda won't mind, but Patsy refuses his advances and leaves. She then warns Linda that Chuck is not good for her. Linda sees that Chuck is watching an adult film, which he made himself. This is the first time Linda is watching an adult film and tells Chuck that good girls never do things like that. As days pass by, Chuck, being much older than Linda, begins to teach her several naughty things they can do while romancing. Six months pass by and Linda has changed a lot. One day, she gets a call from Chuck who tells her to get some money to bail him out of jail. After bailing him out, Linda asks him why he was arrested. Chuck then reveals that he was arrested for soliciting prostitution. However, he claims that he had no idea what went on in the parking lot behind his bar. He also tells Linda that they need a lot of money to clear his name. So Chuck takes Linda to a production company where Linda gives an addition. The director then tells Linda to grab some coffee for them. He then tells Chuck that Linda is not suitable for the industry as she is too cute and innocent. On top of that, she doesn't have the physical features that their audience wants. So Chuck shows them the video he secretly recorded when he was romancing Linda. After seeing the video, the directors are surprised and decide to cast Linda in their next project. During the shooting, Linda meets the financer of the film, Anthony Romano. Anthony is impressed by Linda and tells her that it's the best investment of his life. Linda is a little nervous about doing the film, which is going to be her first film as an adult star. While she is practicing her lines alone, her co-star comes there and notices that Linda is nervous. So he encourages her by telling her that they have got the best job in the world, where they can truly be themselves and just enjoy the scenes. After this little motivation, Linda completes all her scenes with ease. But when Anthony sees Linda with Chuck, he tells the director to send Chuck away, so that Linda can completely focus on the film. The next day, Linda completes the rest of the scenes and impresses everyone with her skills. After days of shooting, Linda finally completes the film where she uses her new stage name, Linda Lovelace. Chuck fears that he may lag behind when Linda becomes popular, but Anthony and the directors assure Chuck that he is going to get rich soon. One evening, Linda and Chuck go to watch the screening of Linda's film. The film becomes a huge hit as more and more people line up to watch the film. The film is loved by viewers and critics so much that Linda and the director are invited to give an interview on a local radio station. The film becomes so popular that it makes over $30,000 at the box office and makes its way to the top 50 grossing films. Linda becomes a poster girl who is interviewed by a variety of print and radio reporters. 
During a private screening of the film in LA, Linda meets Hugh Hefner, the founder of Playboy. He is impressed by Linda's features and tells her that she has the potential to be more than an adult star. Linda is loved by the audience and she is living the best moment of her life. Six years later, Linda is taking a polygraph test prior to publishing her autobiography. It is revealed that Linda has divorced Chuck. She reveals that shortly after the success of her film, she began to see the true nature of Chuck. He used to choke Linda while romancing and refused to stop when she asked. Linda is beginning to doubt her decision of marrying Chuck. But Chuck defends himself by saying that it was just passion. But Linda knows that it was his true nature. Before Linda gave the audition for the adult film, Chuck was desperate for money, so he forced Linda into prostitution at gunpoint. Linda had no choice but to obey her husband. One night, she came to her parents' house as she wanted to leave Chuck and move back in for a while. She tells her mother that Chuck hits her, but instead of sympathizing with Linda, her mother blames her instead for her situation. She tells Linda to be a good wife and do whatever Chuck asks her to do. Linda begs her mother to let her stay for a while, but her mother insists her to return to her husband. When Linda returns to Chuck, she tells him that she doesn't want to do the movie, but Chuck threatens her to do as he asks at gunpoint. So Linda has no choice but to do the film against her wishes. While celebrating the success of the film one evening, Chuck learns that Linda has been discussing a new salary with Anthony and the movie director. Enraged, he punishes Linda by making her shower in freezing cold water. On top of that, Chuck took away all her earnings and didn't share a penny with her. One day, Anthony shows up at Chuck's house, demanding the money he is owed. So Chuck asks him to give him a couple of weeks so that he can arrange the money. After that, Chuck and Linda went to the private screening of Linda's film, where they meet Hugh Hefner. Chuck wanted Linda to impress Hugh so that they can get money from him. Later that night, Linda returns home and sees that Chuck is not home, so she calls her parents as she misses them a lot. Linda's father tells Linda that he saw her film but had to walk out midway because of the scenes. He is worried about Linda as she is no longer the sweet and innocent person she used to be. Linda breaks down and wants to tell him about her situation, but Chuck returns home, forcing Linda to end the call. Chuck is furious at Linda as she didn't ask you for a role in his upcoming adult film, but Linda tells Chuck that she doesn't want to work in adult films anymore. Surprisingly, Chuck doesn't react and tells Linda that they are going to a party, but instead he takes her to a hotel room, where some producers are waiting for them. It turns out that Chuck wants Linda to sleep with those men for money. He once again forces Linda at gunpoint, leaving Linda no choice but to endure the abuse. After returning home, Linda tries running away from Chuck, but Chuck catches her. Just then, some police officers come there. The officers recognize Linda from the movie and ask for an autograph. Linda wants to ask for help, but is too afraid of Chuck. The next morning, Linda sneaks out of the house and goes to meet Anthony. She asks Anthony to clear their doubts as she doesn't want to be forced into the adult industry again. Anthony tries to persuade her to work in the sequel of the film, but Linda then reveals the abuse inflicted on her by Chuck. Anthony is disgusted by Chuck's actions and has Linda checked into a private hotel. He then calls Chuck to his room and beat him ruthlessly along with his bodyguards for abusing Linda and for the money he is owed. Six years later, Linda divorced Chuck and married a man named Larry. She has a young son and lives with her family on Long Island. She receives a call from her publisher who tells her that she passed the polygraph test. They now believe her story and are willing to publish her autobiography, Ordeal. After her autobiography is read by millions, she is called in a show called Dota You. In her autobiography, Linda has detailed years of Chuck's physical and sexual abuse as well as his stealing of all her earnings. Now she wants to share her story with the rest of the world so that whoever is suffering from the same abuse she once did can take inspiration from her and leave fuck and leave behind their abusive relationship. Linda's parents watch the show and break down in tears, knowing that they taught Linda to obey her husband, no matter what he asked. Linda tells the audience that it was very difficult for her to get out, but if she can, then everyone else can too. A few days later, Linda's family traveled to Florida for Linda to reconcile with her parents. The film's ending captions reveal that while Linda's film made over $600 million worldwide, Linda earned only $1,250. Linda's book went on to sell out three printings, and for 20 years, Linda spoke out against pornography and domestic violence. Chuck went on to marry a woman named Marilyn Chambers, the second most famous adult star of the era. In 2002, Linda died at the age of 53 from injuries sustained in a car crash. As for Chuck, he died from a fatal heart attack three months later. And so this was the story of Linda Lovelace. See you in the next hunt.